they have added something in their new Apple Watch, which is okay. kind of very unique, which is tapping your fingers together. On the where? Just fingers. Just so you don't have my Apple Watch. How dare I don't it's have my Apple Watch. Sorry, I'll be back in a sec. Hello. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, we're back with the channel that we still haven't figured out the name of. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we're still trying <laughs> to see what the name of the channel would be. This is Mason, this is Nadeem, and we are trying to do the podcast, just talking about the regular stuff that they face with. And we have regular discussion about. Today, the we topic. are going to talk... <laughs> There's a lot of details into that, but we're probably going to talk about the new Apple products. The new iPhone 15. Why are we going to talk about that? Because I own an iPhone. Show your whatever it is. And I don't. Just, I own just, an Android. It's a Samsung. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> so iPhone 15. Yeah. Uh, so. You're not a big fan of iPhone, right? I wouldn't say I'm not a big fan of iPhones. I mean, I have an iPhone through work. So it's not like I, I, I'm against iPhones, but... But you wouldn't pay for one. You know what? It's just about, for me, it's always just about justifying the cost. Like, mm -hmm. I can't justify the cost. Back, okay, in all fairness, back before, I want to say the iPhone 13 or 14, I think the processors weren't competing as well against the Samsung flagship processors at the time. So for me... I wanted a phone that was fast. I wanted one with a good camera. And before you say iPhone cameras are really good, they are. They are amazing. Mm. But Samsung has really good cameras. The screen quality just didn't show the full details mm -hmm. of uh, the, the same resolution photo it was able to take. So it made it look worse than it was. Mm. All those things said, I, didn't, I couldn't justify the price for the iPhones at the time. But now with what they've done with like the, the 13, I want to say Pro onwards, Mm. I think the iPhones are doing really, really well. But yeah. you being an iPhone owner, what are your thoughts on the iPhone 15? Well, I don't want to really get into the argument of iPhone versus Android. Yeah, fair I'm enough. more interested into talking about how it feels not owning an iPhone in, in, in a place, like in a country that like, literally everyone owns Apple products. But before that, iPhone 14, I, I saw the video, I saw the intro, it's pretty good. They changed the body. So this is 14 Pro. They changed the 15 body. Now it's made of titanium, which I assume gonna be more rigid and yeah, durable. More rigid. Yeah, yeah. And of course they have improved the processor and the camera. The biggest changes uh, like physically is the USB-C, mm -hmm. which we- Long time thank coming. God oh, for, for the first time, time we got coming. rid of the lightning. Oh yeah. I hate I hate it that I had to carry around you yeah. know, different cables for my like this camera is charged everything else except for my uh, Apple products is charged with USB C. USB C, I yeah, know, right? I know. And you know why they put they made it so that all the new iPhones and all the new Apple products are USB C, right? It's because of what happened in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. was a regulation yeah. that forced Apple, and it's kind of ironic because their iPads. Uh, were USB C anywhere? The, the MacBook was USB C. Yeah, anyway. the MacBook was. Yeah, the iPhone was the only piece left, and they were trying to resist it, which yeah. doesn't make sense because they they could make more money off their lightning, which yeah, their right to it. Yeah, when you have it. when you have the exclusive technology, yeah. obviously you want to maximize it. And now it's even funnier because the people who own the old iPhones. Mm. Um, still can't fully convert to the USB-C methodology mm. because they would have to upgrade all of their technology to be able to use the USB-C fully. Well, honestly, for me, it's just iPhone because everything else, like Apple Watch has its own stinked... Uh... AirPods are the other one, I think, right? Oh, you're right. AirPods, AirPods. are the other one. AirPods, AirPods, I never charge through the lights. It's always wireless, always right? Always wireless. The new yeah. generation AirPods don't have wireless charging. What do you mean? I think they don't have wireless charging. Oh, I, I read that. No, 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 no. The newest one they're releasing with the iPhone 15. I don't think so. That's what they. That's what that was said be, at least. No, that, that's that's impossible. I could be wrong. Yeah. I could be wrong. I the watched it in the video. The good thing about AirPods is that you can also charge it with your Apple Watch charger. That's that's yeah. really useful. That's really yeah, useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? One feature I always really liked about the uh, the iPhone and the AirPod compatibility mm -hmm. was I remember. Um, 
I remember one of my friends pulling out his AirPods once that weren't connected to his phone at the time, and it just recognized the nearby device and uh, yeah. automatically allowed him allowed him to connect to them, even though yeah. actually his AirPods were connected to something else. It was yeah, just yeah, a yeah. click button. Yeah. And that's something that Android didn't do for a long mm. time, and I was very surprised about that because it was such a good functionality. Apple is always about like seamless environment, right? Yeah. When you have AirPods, for example, and you're listening to music on your iPhone, and then you want to change it to MacBook. Once you open the MacBook and start using it, yeah. it changes to MacBook automatically, it which does. is kind of a very nice trick. Yeah. So apart from the uh, the USB C, which is added, they also change, remove the so called they call it like the ringer switch the, or the like the uh, switch, whatever the switch, the switch is. Whatever, yeah. Just the the silent the silent switch. And they replaced it. Yeah, it's just now an action button like it's Apple action, Watch. Exactly, yeah. So they added the action button to Apple Watch and yeah. now they have it on iPhone, which is good. Instead of just being used for silencing your... You can set up and customize yeah, it to whatever you, you want. Yeah, you customize it. I'm Super thinking useful. they were showing that you can pull up camera for someone like me who always wants to take stories or you record can. something. Yeah. You can just press a button because right now I have to press like two, three buttons and if I want to record something from my phone, all I have to do is press the sleep button twice and it goes straight to camera. Yeah, but it's just so slow that you know by the time it, it is pulls it up, is slower, but less button pressing. <laughs> by the time it pulls up the camera, okay, the, the, we get the it. moment we get it's it. gone. We get it. Whatever. No, it's about, <laughs> it's about how fast it is. Yeah, let's go. Record. Yeah, That's that it. that took just as long as my camera yeah, tactic to open. So <laughs> just full disclosure, me Sam's a liar. <laughs> but no, apart from that, like it's interesting. Everyone uses like. Apple technology in this context. Oh, okay. This is Samsung? Yeah. Is it like uh, a Samsung store in Ottawa? I actually don't know. I, I don't know many Question. Samsung stores. Um, How many Apple stores are in Ottawa? That doesn't justify the cost. I mean, that, if anything, that just makes your cost more expensive because you have to pay for an Apple store. We're not talking about the cost. We're talking about like how much the, how much easily accessible their, their customer services. I mean, Samsung has done no, 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 pretty just, well. Just, you know, I'm not trying to fight. We're not trying to fight. But like, in all honesty, anytime I had a problem with Apple products, I just quickly go to one of the stores. There are three Apple stores in Ottawa. Ottawa is not a big city. Very right? true. By, by very the way. True. Which is really convenient, right? That is very convenient. Honestly, Absolutely. If, if my phone breaks down, for someone who is, who is not financially struggling, and phones are not like cars who would cost thousands of dollars, right? No, it's a simple purchase. If your phone has any problem, I think it's even more important than your car, right? Ah, uh, kind of important. In modern day? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you cannot live without your phone. And the, the ability of being able to quickly go to Apple store and say, yo, take a care, take yeah. care of this, you know, take a look. I think it's pretty important. I do agree. I, I do agree. have the same feeling about a lot of other products. Even Microsoft, we don't have. Any, there is one Microsoft. There is store a Microsoft in store Tro in Toronto. In no, here, uh, there is. I'm pretty sure there's one in Ottawa too. I think they just opened one in Rideau. Really? I think so. Just I, I maybe. could be wrong. But that's wrong. the thing. Like Apple, they're so accessible and their their customer service is so good. And there were a lot of times. Which goes back to some of their products not being very high quality, but I had some yeah. problems with my AirPods and they just did a test and they just replaced it pretty quickly. You see, that's really good. I've heard opposite stories from a lot of my friends as well like about what? getting not poor customer service, but just you they'd show up to an Apple store, get the assessment done, and then just have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get it repaired, almost the cost of the device itself. Oh, if, if you have warranty, you know. If you have the warranty, yeah. yeah. I guess in that case, the they, yeah. they weren't getting the oh, warranty Oh, I had the all. same problem. Oh, full disclosure, my MacBook, uh, I spilled milk on my MacBook. <laughs> Don't ask me why I spilled milk on my MacBook. It just happened and the screen went dark. And I took it to Apple store and they were like, it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars. Yeah, well, you know what they $1, say. A thousand dollars, while I could, buy the new MacBook for 1800 Yeah, I would get it. I was uh, like... It, it, beca it, because money's not a problem, I would just get a new one at that point. But you know what they say, don't cry over spilled milk, cry over broken MacBooks. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Well, like, one thing I really like is that everyone, it's just a common set, it's just a common practice that everyone has Apple products and you can easily switch, you can transfer photos, you can easily FaceTime, 
your Apple Watch, your AirPods, your iPhones. I'm not saying Apple is great or anything. It's just the convenience of owning Apple products, especially in a country like Canada or US. I think, um, I actually think that I 100% agree with you. Like the, you're, the, the, you're one of the very few people who has Android. I know a decent Everyone amount of people with Android. I know they have iPhone. Everyone. Maybe it's just because they're all Persian and Persians. Love <laughs> no, but in all fairness, I mean, most of my friends have iPhones too. I'm like one of the last few that probably doesn't have an iPhone. But that being said, I think one of the big things, going back to what you were talking about, um, the inter-device compatibility. Like, mm. it, I think it's twofold with Apple. It will maybe three. A, the fact that all their devices can connect together like very seamlessly, yeah. big selling point. B, they were probably one of the first like flagship brands to mm. do that and do it well. Like that was a huge thing. So first mover advantage, big, big factor. And then C, I think a big part of it is that for people who might not be as technologically inclined as you and I, for them, they need simplicity. Mm. And the iPhone embodies the simplicity that yeah. you need and allows you to get to a certain level of complexity that you do want, you know? Especially, like you said, with the action button in the iPhone 15, I promise you, a lot of people aren't going to use that. Mm -hmm. But the people who will, will find it makes their life easier when they use their mm -hmm. phone, which is a great thing, you know? Honestly, when I was younger, I really loved the, uh, the optionality of the Androids. But as I grew older, I was like, don't add anything new. Don't surprise me. His brain started slowing down. Just, just, <laughs> just give me the bare minimum. As long as it works well, this is, a, this is a phone, you know. I just want to make calls. I just want to go on Instagram, check internet, that stuff. Don't give me anything complicated. Don't make dramatic changes. Yeah, yeah. Just the bare minimum, as long as it's fast and it looks pretty good. I mean, I do agree with you, like... It's nice to have new features, but they have to be integrated in a way that doesn't take away from what you're already used to, mm -hmm. right? Because like if, if the new, let's say the iPhone 16 came out and it was just completely different, they changed mm -hmm. everything they've done over the past who knows how many years, people probably wouldn't like their iPhones as much or they yeah. would stick with the older iPhones. Like yeah. they would stop at the 15 yeah. and wait till the 17 comes out, you know? Maybe moving from iPhone, they were like... Uh... Some interesting stuff like Apple is introducing, it's not just about Apple, it's the discussion that we always have, how AI and technology is changing mm -hmm. everything. Every time I listen to like Apple events because I'm interested to see what type of novel technology they're introducing. Yeah. yeah. One thing that they did introduce in their Apple watches with their, if I'm not mistaken, S9 chips mm -hmm. is that, so this is the ultra Apple watch, right? Okay. And like, how do you how do you use your Apple Watch when you want to like answer a call or if you want to check anything or if you want to like I don't know mm -hmm. stop the music you have to press it right use mm -hmm. the touch screen you know press it something like this yeah they have added something in their new Apple Watch which is okay. kind of very unique which is tapping your fingers together on the where just fingers just in so front of by, the Apple Watch yeah, by just doing this it does the reaction of your nerves oh. and they have a sensor so if you want to take the call you can just press your fingers like this you take the call by doing this actually uh the samsung watch has had that for a while too and it also has another feature that i use all the time before i go to track my workouts i just flip my arm up and down like that and it'll open oh. up my workouts so it's a pretty cool technology i find it very useful did you try to say that uh android had it yeah. for a while yeah I did. <laughs> Just okay, to remind that, myself. <laughs> but like doing this, it probably gets a sensor. I, I guess like this movement is I mean, easier with... to pick up, but like I'm trying to understand how they pick up like you, you know, tapping your fingers together. Well, it's like at the same time, how does the watch uh, read your mm. heart rate? without actually being in your skin, right? There's sensors that can see through your skin mm. or at least detect movement underneath your skin and it likely following exactly what you said. You know, you press these two fingers together, specific muscles move in your yeah. arms. So I guess it's through the muscle movement and the nerves that go from here. Whatever. Really cool it's technology. It's kind of interesting <clears throat> how they're bringing all these technologies forward. Speaking of technology, mm -hmm. You know how like iPhones have two cameras. One of them is like uh, wider, the other wide, and one's a regular. Closer, close yeah. up. So theoretically, you can use these two cameras to get a three D filming. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you have two cameras, you can have a 3D <coughs> recording. Okay. But where do you want to watch 3D recording, right? That's the thing. You have to have access. They do have the Apple ProVision. The new headphones the new that head, is coming the, the out. New, the new, bit, yeah. Hear me oh out, hear me out. Okay. This, this, okay. is, this is interesting. Yeah, right? absolutely. So otherwise, you would be like, why would I record in 3D? Yeah. I either have to use like the goggles, the 3D goggles and watch it on the TV, like a 3D movie. Yeah. Which wasn't a very popular idea. There were 3D, uh, 3D TVs for a while, but people yeah. didn't really like it. It was too gimmicky. Yeah, it was like, gimmicky. Yeah. There was people could ha get headaches. Yeah. Even like right now in, in theaters, there are 3D movies, but not a lot of people are a big fan of it. Yeah. At least in theaters, it's not bad for some movies, which are <sighs> yeah. you know. But there's a bunch of technology backing recorded, that. Like, exactly. This is like in its infancy, so. Let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure Apple will pull that up pretty nicely with okay. the provision. So imagine, Absolutely. imagine yeah. you record a birthday and then you put on your goggles, your okay. provisions, and it's and like you you're there. It's like you're there. Okay. That's pretty cool, right? I like that idea. Let me get, let me tell you where I'm getting with this. Okay. LG, I swear, LG uh -huh. made a phone. I think it was 12 years ago. My okay. brother bought it. It was like top notch. Okay. It had the exact same technology. It did? It recorded 3D video. It had two cameras. Back then it was like, two cameras? What, what the hell is was that? Was it their flagship phone? Yeah, it was a flagship oh, yeah. phone. Okay. It used to do 3D recording. That is But when cool. you were watching it, it was like blurry because you yeah. needed the glasses or you needed like to put it on a, it was supposed to right. go on LG TVs. Oh. And then because LG was producing right. the, the 3D, oh. 3D TVs. Wow. But because the TVs did not really make it to the market, right. it, it wasn't a blockbuster. Yeah. So the 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 phone also did not was not. It wasn't really selling as well. Because we're like, why would I pay for this feature? I was laughing uh, yesterday when I yesterday when I saw the saw the event, I was like, oh my god, after like <laughs> 12 years? They're same finally doing it. It is same cool. Thing. I saw everyone was calling LG to, to, to manufacture such a stupid phone. <laughs> Two cameras, you recorded, and the video was like blurry. I was yeah. like, what the hell is yeah. this? Yeah, it didn't make sense, obviously. But now Apple, after 12 years yeah. or so. Well, if anything, I would consider Apple doing that perfect timing because yeah. LG was probably way too far ahead of its time yeah. in not a good way, a bad way, yeah. right? They were, they were implementing something that would eventually work just at the wrong time. Mm. and. Yeah, I mean, that, I'm sure that would be a blow up hit, but how much are the Apple goggles? Oh, they're expensive. They're like $3,500. I know, $3,500, $3,500. Down payment crazy. on a car. <laughs> I know, I know. But it's interesting. Any, I'm pretty sure there are lots and lots of technologies and ideas that are thought of, but at the time, they were not in the right environment. They weren't, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I totally agree. Uh, you know what, it, it makes me excited to see what could happen next. You know, yeah. where's AI gonna yeah. go? Where are we gonna take hardware technology and what about robots? Whoa. I really like to to try that Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, it would be really cool. Yeah. It would be cool for videos. Yeah. Does watch it only do nice. pictures or videos? No, videos. Oh, that's you a, can, see, that's, that's cool. what they say, you can watch like movies up to 200 inch. Imagine sitting in your living room. Imagine you're a student. You don't have. You cannot afford a big TV. Right. And you sit here, and you have a 200 inch like uh, screen. Okay. So we ran out of memory on the camera. I had to delete some files to be able to record again. You might be asking, where is this uh, conversation going? Nowhere. Exactly. exactly. That's the purpose of this podcast. We're trying to kick it off and come up with some good ideas. Eventually, yeah. we're gonna. I kind of wanted to talk about like the financial stuff of Apple as well. Apple is a three trillion dollar company, the largest market cap right now, if I'm correct. Yeah, the yeah. largest company in the whole world. Yeah. Although some people say that uh, the oil giant of Saudi Arabia is bigger than Apple, but it's private. But it's private. So if, you'll never if know. If it does an IPO, it's probably bigger than Apple, but we never know unless they do an IPO and Which, it actually goes on public markets to be able to trade it. I don't think they ever would. 
It and wouldn't they, make sense. They would, to, it wouldn't make sense to. They just try. They just, every now and then they try to show it off to kind of get a valuation mm -hmm. to kind of let the world know that we have this hidden gem. But know? they under they underplay it a little bit, don't they? I don't know. I don't know. Why? Why would they? Well, I don't know. If you underplay it, oh, I guess it, they would want to overplay it. If anything, wouldn't they? Less foreign investment into the oil market gives more control to the country if over anything, the oil supply. If anything, they they have the tendency of overplaying, probably. It would make sense to overplay yeah. because then they keep more control. Less people would want yeah. to invest. You get exactly. more sales. Easy. Exactly. Yeah. Well, now we're getting to oil companies. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going far off topic. Yeah. But going back to uh, one thing that you said earlier, you mentioned uh, the the two hundred inch screen. Oh the, shit, yeah, yeah. Well, but sorry, it, sorry. it was funny. It was just funny because you mentioned, oh, if you can't afford a TV, <laughs> you could watch it through a 200 inch screen. <laughs> no, all I'm saying is that imagine someone who doesn't want to spend money on an iPad, who doesn't want to spend money on a, on a TV, who, you know, it can make up for a lot of other gadgets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have friends who, for example, live in apartments and don't yeah. even own TVs, yeah. right? They just do everything they want off their laptop, MacBook, whatever it is. So, I, you know, if, if you're a simplistic, like, like if you're a person who just needs the simple things, mm. you know, then you, you can manage with just the very basic mm. necessities. Yeah. And you, you'd be able to get the same quality that you'd have from apparently a movie theater yeah. <laughs> just in a pair of goggles. I like imagine if you're, if you're on a train, if you're on a bus. That's where it would be imagine, super useful. Imagine yeah. you sit in a plane or a bus or a train or, yeah. I don't know, a taxi and you put the goggles and you have 200 inch yeah. and you can watch the movie in 3D. Oh, that's actually a really good point. One thing I've seen before is, have you seen those AR goggles, like the AR glasses? Yeah. The alternative reality ones. It's a really useful application that I've, I, this is the one that I think would apply most to me is the multiple monitors. Yeah. Right. You go, you go, you sit on an airplane, you pull out your laptop. Let's say you have some work to do, right? You put on the AR glasses. Suddenly you have four monitors. Exactly. That was, that was exactly one of the showcases of Apple. Yeah. Okay. You can have multiple uh, monitors and you don't need a, you don't need a MacBook anymore. Yeah. And I mean, that's a perfect example of where to really get a functional working setup for four monitors it would just be easier to mm. have the goggles at that point on a cost and setup basis. Like, mm. why would I do that when I just put on some goggles? I have four monitors. Yeah. Problem solved, yeah. right? But uh, at this point, it's a bit wishy-washy. We have to see how they can perfect the technology to actually become yeah. useful and yeah. people use it every day. I, like, after all these years, I could never find a use for iPad. Yeah. Like, they're good, yeah. but at the end of the day, you're like... I'm the same way as you. I actually tried. Uh, like, I had an iPad. I sold it. I was going to say, I had one too for a while and I tried using it. I tried to fit it into my daily life and it was just like, I'd rather use my phone. Yeah. Carrying around an iPad all the whole time is just yeah, it's too much. It's too much for me. But. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the things that Apple has resisted for a long time. Apple did not make their laptops, laptop screens a uh, touch, touch a screen. Yeah because they believe that laptop is laptop and if you want to touch right. a screen you should you use get the iPad. iPad. Right. But now I heard that going forward from 2024 they're thinking of adding a touch screen on their MacBook because they're finally realizing that people are not responding very well to iPads. Yeah, and I mean, it makes sense. It's a smart thing to do. I think one I know thing- a lot of people love their iPads too. But for example, one thing that I think would maybe incentivize me to use a tablet style device more is for example, a lot of laptops now, they come with touch screens already, mm -hmm. but they don't fold back into a tablet shape, right? Yeah. They stay, they only go past like, they maybe only got up to 150 mm -hmm. degree angles. So. I can't turn it into a tablet. Why would I use the touch screen? The keyboard and the mouse are right there, right? Mm. It's easier to do those if anything. Yeah. So yeah. that's one thing that I think I wouldn't blame Apple for not having implemented yeah. ahead of time. But if they do it, they have the opportunity to do it, this right? So they'll take well. two generations to do it likely. See, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but it, it has its own uh, problems as well. Of course it does, you know. All of them have uh, their own unique problems. Yeah. So uh, I think I think that's a pretty, good. pretty good one. Yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Let yeah. us know what topics we should cover. Absolutely. Let us know if you like it, you hate it, if, if it makes any sense or if it's just uh, garbage. Mm -hmm. We will try to take it as a man. 
and make it less garbage. Can you? Yeah. Meanwhile, can you leave us a like or comment, something like that? That would be really nice. If you don't, still, we really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really appreciate it. And let us know how we can improve, how we can get better. Can you think of that? Not much else. Thank you for watching. Appreciate any feedback you can give and any content that you want to see next time. And until then, take care. See you in the next one.